So for the first time in history, it is so transparent that the Fed is fucking everyone around the world. You have to be absolutely blind not to see it. They actually allow JP Morgan, uh, Bank of America, a handful of other banks to rescue First Republic Bank. Now, it is simply a method of diverting the attention temporarily because if you read uh, all the disclosures closely, uh, a handful of banks are going uh, to deposit anywhere from a billion to five billion uh, for a total of 30 billion to save First Republic Bank. Now, notice in the disclosures, the funds are going to be there for the next 120 days. There's no equity exchange. They're not buying First Republic Bank. Uh, basically, they have zero fucking interest to buy the bank out. So if First Republic Bank was so strong, then why wouldn't one bank just come out and say, hey, let me just take a shot these guys and let me just buy them out right it's a good deal right the stock is down from 120 dollars to 19 dollars let's go ahead and do it well none of them are interested in doing that however what they have an interest in doing is showing the public that everything is good while in reality we all know things are totally fucked up so it's kind of like hey Let's go ahead and pay off these $30 billion to just kind of pacify and smooth the markets over. We have no interest in actually buying out the First Republic Bank because we don't want that dog shit. And we just going to go ahead, sort of pay a bribe of $30 billion to just be able to calm the markets down. As a matter of fact, even we know that the world is going to hell what we are going to do is we're going to buy us some time to buy some big, big, big ass short positions on the market. So in case you were trading the market over the last 10 days with all this crazy shit going on, banks collapsing, going bankrupt. OK, and you're sitting there wondering, well, hold on, why is the market not dropping yet? Okay, well, it's because, as I mentioned in some prior videos, it is the delay effect such as the one in the movie Big Short. Okay, Dr. Bird bets against the housing market. Okay, but even though there are banks going bankrupt right and left that are actually issuing mortgages uh, to on real estate, okay, his portfolio is actually going against him and he's losing money. And the only point when his portfolio turns positive is the point where all the big banks on Wall Street, they went and bet against the real estate market as well. It is that point at which they actually begin to adjust their portfolios to reflect the actual situation. So we're in a situation right now where the big banks say, hey, we need 120 days to go and big these huge big positions against the market. So we can profit in a much bigger way uh, in, instead of this temporary bride we're paying out for 30 billion. Okay, we're going to make 5x, 10x, 100x of that amount if we can just buy us some time. So this First Republic rescue, okay, which was put together between these uh, major banks, uh, JP Morgan, Bank of America, PNC, some of the other ones pitched in a, a little bit smaller than JP Morgan. But the bottom line is 30 billion. It's a little bribe to buy some time. Uh, it's it, it's basically like, hey, let me pay you 30 billion today so I can go ahead and make 300 billion in the next you know six months. That's exactly what's happening. And you have to be absolutely blind not to be able to clearly see through this. Okay, so of course, if you're watching the news, they're like, well, buddy, I mean, everything is good. They rescued the bank. Hey, they paid all the depositors. Well, just the fact they paid all the depositors, okay, at the other bank doesn't mean anything, okay? That I mean, the business is gone. I mean, all the people that, that were employed there, I, I, I mean, they're done. I, all the businesses that this bank was helping in the technology sector, they're done. All the businesses that were coming on board this month, they're done. I mean, the aftermath of this disaster is huge. 
And yet the market is cheering. Last week, it wouldn't drop because what? All the depositors got rescued? That's supposed to be a good fucking thing. The business did not get rescued, just the depositors, okay? So basically, $200 billion business collapses, okay? Because they, they buy, they make, they, they invest in the most secure <clears throat> investment, right? In quotes, uh, U.S. government bonds. They fucking miserably fail. Okay, shortly after that, okay, you have Japan a stock market, which we told you was going to be one of the best trades last week. It drops out, collapses like a thousand points within two days. Okay, that transpires because they're the ones that are heavily invested in the United States government bonds. I, I mean, the domino effect is obvious, it's clear, but in the near term, you could see the market bounce. Going into the Federal Reserve meeting, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to pump the market as much as possible, okay? During the Fed announcement, okay, there's two things that can happen. It's very simple to decipher the market right now, guys. The Fed is in checkmate. It cannot win, okay? So you have a situation, basically, where Fed can come out and say, okay, we're going to raise a quarter point, and the market could still drop and the fed could say okay we're gonna raise the we're not gonna do anything hey look what just happened with the banks we understand the severity of the situation maybe we over hiked maybe we should slow down let's do zero this time and in that point the market could temporarily celebrate it could pump even more and get us to an ultimate short point basically a short entry of a lifetime i would say uh because after that we can get some major major collapses following that initial bounce if the Fed actually says zero. Fed says zero, market pump, followed by a market dump, guys. Um, I don't have time to throw all the charts uh, on the screen, unfortunately, right now. But uh, just I'll try to record maybe one more video before the Federal Reserve uh, announcement. Just understand, this could be your greatest moment. This could be it for you right now. So, uh, I mean, this could be the time you pay cash for your house, okay? This could be the time you make it huge in the stock market. You catch that bounce, could be followed by a magnificent drop, okay? This could be history, okay, for you and your family. This could be so big that, I mean, if you're working with an account of 500, a million bucks, you should give us a call, guys. You could be a fucking 10 mil 20 mil okay a, a week from now because we could there is a there, there is a strong possibility that we're gonna nail that entry perfectly okay but again there's many variables here that's why i'm gonna try to post a follow-up video okay the the world is in total chaos okay uh, for these banks to give $30 billion bribe. I mean, it is so transparent that they're just buying time to establish short positions. Just do what the big banks are doing, okay? Build short positions. But from the standpoint of weekly options, short-term op options expiration, you got to be able to put on a big position at the right fucking moment, which I believe is going to be Wednesday afternoon, Thursday morning, okay? Be ready for it. Don't miss it, guys. Big pump before the big dump and trade this with 13 market moves. Let's roll.